Good evening, Kevin. It's Saturday. I also want to take a moment to talk about procrastination. That's what this video is going to be about. This is yet another critique on the school system, something that you and I attack a lot, which is a good thing because it needs to be taken down a peg. Now there's another side of procrastination that I don't think it's talked about as much as just general procrastination on homework. This might be a problem for everyone, or it might just be a me problem, but I think it's a bit of an everyone problem, so feel free to comment below and let me know about that, because I would like to know that it's not just me. Now, I have a tendency to procrastinate on things that I enjoy just because they're homework, or just because they have a time limit attached to them. It's like the difference between reading a book for fun and reading a book for school. Even if it's a book that I enjoy, I'm probably going to put it off till the night before to actually really do the reading I'm supposed to do for class, because as homework it just feels like something that I have to do, and not something that I want to do, even if it is something that I would enjoy. And it could be with anything, not just books, but writing, learning an instrument, learning anything for that matter. I love learning, but the moment it's for school it just feels so forced and unnatural. And for me it's gotten to the point where most things that have any sort of a time limit for me end up getting procrastinated on. Going back to the books, I'm terrible at the idea of a book club because the idea of having to read a certain amount of a book by a certain time will make me read it way slower even if it's a book that I would pick up and not put down for like a day and finish had it not been any sort of assignment. Even if it's that good, I'm probably gonna procrastinate on it, and that's a problem! It's something I've learned from school, from feeling like a time limit means something is work and something I have to do rather than something I want to do. Even this blog for some time. Not anymore, but there have been short periods of times where I procrastinated on the vlog. Even though I really like and enjoy making this vlog, just sometimes the fact that I had to have it up by a certain time made me want to procrastinate on it. And I hate that because I love making this vlog. I just, I've gotten into this habit where time limits mean procrastination is going to happen, even if it's not for school. Now I think one way we can combat this is in the way we phrase things. The way you talk about something definitely has an effect on the way you think about it, so I would recommend that from here on out, and I'm gonna try this and see how well it works, rather than saying that I have to do something for homework or that I can't do something because I have to do homework, I'm going to say instead that I'm going to do something that's for homework, rather than that I have to. And I'm going to say that I'm not doing something because I'm going to do homework, rather than I am can't do something because I'm going to do homework. Because when you talk about something as something that you can't or have to do, it will change the way you think about it as something that's forced, something unnatural. So transgressing against that statement feels freeing to you, it feels like you're getting closer to the person you want to be by doing the things you want to do. On the other hand, when you say that you do something or that you don't do something, your brain is registering it as this is a part of me, this is a part of my methodology in life, as I'm doing my homework instead of going to do this thing, instead of I can't do this thing because I'm staying in to do my homework. So then when you transgress against it, it feels wrong, you actually do feel like, oh, like this is not what I'm supposed to be doing because I as a person stay in and do my homework. Which sometimes you should procrastinate, that, that's, that's definitely important. It's, I think it's important to procrastinate sometimes because sometimes homework is not the most important thing. But at some points in your life, unfortunately you're gonna have to be like, okay, I'm not procrastinating on this. Or even if it's not homework, that's totally better. Like with a book club. Don't say I have to read this book for book club, or say I'm reading this book for book club. It changes the way you think about it. Even if it's just a minor change in the way you think about it, that's how you start. You start with minor changes, and then the bigger changes follow. So I don't know. I'm trying this. I'm going to see how well it works. And moving on from that, I want to take a moment to do a plug for a very important Kickstarter. It's for Vitality Magazine, a lit magazine that would feature stories about LGBTQ plus characters. Media representation for queer folks is an issue, and the best criticism for the current climate of queer characters in the media is to make something better. So please go donate. It's an awesome idea. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and message us whether you like it or not. Let me know! Do you also have this problem of procrastinating on things that you enjoy doing if they're an assignment or have a time limit? Anyways, I'll see you on Wednesday, Kevin. Good day, YouTube. Good day.